ಓಂ ನಮೋ ವ್ರತಪತೆಯೇ ನಮೋ ಗಣಪತೆಯೇ ನಮ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪತೆಯೇ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಅಸ್ತು ಲಂಬೋದರಾಯ ಏಕತಂತಾಯ ವಿಘ್ನನಾಶಿನೇ ಶಿವಸುತಾಯ ವರದಮೂರ್ತಿಯೇ ನಮಃ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗಣಪತಿ ಮಾಲ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಗಣಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಶಿವ salutations to the lord of pramathas the ghost attending to shiva salutation to you the one with large belly lambodara and single tusk ekatanta salutations to the one who is the remover of all obstacles who is the son of shiva and is a personification of boon giving namaste this is a ganesh chaturthi special video Ganesha the lord of new beginnings was created by goddess Parvati from the turmeric paste of her body invoking him before starting any activity can dispel negative energies blocking your success asserted as a supreme being ganesha can clear consciousness bring clarity to your thoughts and actions eliminate obstacles and delays before they arise and grant everlasting happiness and significant progress according to the sacred text his blessings can nullify the sins committed through the five senses and gives immense wealth fulfillment of desire and liberation of the souls from the birth cycle in this video i would like to cover the supremacy of ganesha and his divine appearance as praised in the scriptures the auspicious yoga is making this year's ganesh chaturthi a special day and finally the do's and don'ts to follow on this day many sacred hymns from the scriptures hails ganesha's supreme power benevolence and omniscient attributes i will share few of them with you according to ganesha sahasranama that from the sacred text brahmananda purana ganesha is addressed as gajotpataya which means he is the one who is source of creation he is also called as gunavadrakshana paraya who constantly protects his devotees he is praised as gandha brahma nivarakaya which means ganesha dispels delusions through the knowledge of scriptures he is also hailed as girvanaya the one who bestows eloquence ganesha can remove grief from the family as he is known as guru samsara dukkha vidaya likewise there is ganesh adarvasi rasa also known as ganapati upanishad the most effective and powerful prayer to ganesha classified as an upanishad ganapati adarvasi rasa is a sacred sanskrit text that glorifies ganesha as the vish- visible tattvam that is core principle visible atman soul brahman bestower of consciousness and eternal ultimate reality ganapati adar sirasha is the ultimate text that honors ganesha and portrays him as the image of primordial sound om the same ganapati adar sirasha also describes the supreme archetypes divine form ekatantam chadurhastam pasham kushadarinam ratam cha varadam hasti pribiharanam mushika dwajam raktam lambodaram surpakaranam raktavasam rakta gandanu liptangam rakta pushpaihi subhujitam the meaning of this hymn which describes the visible form of ganesha as follows his face has single tusk ekatantam he has four hands chadurhastam with two of his hands he is holding noose pasha and gourd ankusha with his third hand he is holding a tusk radha and with his fourth hand he is showing the boon giving gesture varada mutra his flag has emblem of rat mushika his form has beautiful reddish glow raktham with a large belly lambodara and with large ears like fan shurpakarana he is wearing red garments raktavasam His form is ointed with 
red fragrant paste rakta ganda and worship with red flowers rakta pushpa this year ganesha chaturthi is special and auspicious because many auspicious yogas are formed with association of planets on ganesh chaturthi day the moon will be in the star swati in the sign libra let me tell you what are the auspicious yogas form forming on this day first one is gajakeshari yoga the term gaja means elephant and keshari means lion elephant and lions are powerful and influential animals considered as royal animals too so cosmic alignment creating this yoga yes uh, this yoga is formed as the moon receives the direct aspect from the benevolent jupiter who is posted in aries sign this yoga is considered influential because the moon and jupiter are opposite to each other this yoga grants name and fame prosperity success ability to win over your enemies so on this day ganesh chaturthi day pray to ganesha to remove all the obstacles obstructing your name and fame prosperity and success also praying to help overcome enemies and remove jealousy and evil eye is essential during this day so the next combination is chandran and ketu that is moon and ketu are together ketu is moksha karaga gnana karaga even though the moon ketu combination is not welcomed in vedic text the moon will be with ketu whose overlord is ganesha this yoga is formed with the association of moon and ketu the yoga is super special because on this ganesh chaturthi day moon and ketu will receive the direct aspect from jupiter so let me tell you what this yoga can grant see being ketu being a spiritual planet it can give you spiritual upliftment intuitive power interest in occult and mystical practices so on this ganesh chaturthi day pray to ganesha to grant clarity of thoughts and action his blessings can help you gain spiritual knowledge and reach your spiritual goals so another important yoga which is formed during this day is parivartana yoga this yoga is created by exchanging signs or nakshatra between two planets it means that the planet not only exchange signs but also exchange their strength energy and the nature of each other cosmic alignment creating this yoga is venus the ruler of the sign libra has exchanged the sign with the moon forming this auspicious parivartana yoga vedic text praise parivartana yoga as an important yoga where the planets involved exchange their inherent strength and attributes potentially enhancing or modifying their effects in the chart this yoga en- enhances the strength of both the planets that is venus and moon they will be transforming their energies to each other and thus it is called mahabhagya yoga the moon and the venus are the rulers of the kendra house that is the ruler of fourth natural zodiac that is the uh, ruler of fourth house and seventh house in the natural zodiac respectively so this yoga gives blessings of lakshmi this yoga can help exchange your emotions thoughts love with each other to receive the same change your attitude towards money and health or relationship overcome financial difficulties and improve your emotional well being this yoga makes the day strong and pray to ganesha to remove all the obstacles that are stopping you from attracting wealth and receiving blessings of goddesses mahalakshmi Finally before i end this video i want to share the do's and don'ts to follow during ganesh chaturthi celebration so do's let me start with do's shower twice on this day and wash your home with rock salt and water add pinch of rock salt to the water and mop the house listen to ganesha mantra and bhajans smash coconuts in the evening do food feeding if health permits fast maintain celibacy observe silence or talk less practice meditation offer modak or fruits along with laddus to ganesha on this day so now let me tell you don'ts what you should not do during this day 
refrain from taking loan or lending money on this day do not borrow anything do not use harsh words do not hurt anybody even animals do not cheat lie or be involved in extravagant or illegal activities on this day do not cut your nails or hair during this day do not smoke take alcohol or eat non vegetarian food on this day avoid garlic and onion also in your food do not wear black or dark colored clothes and even leather garments and accessories should be avoided during this day on this ganesh chaturthi may ganesha bless you and your family with name fame progress desire fulfillment material riches and success in all aspect of life namaste